It seems as though the gremlins didn't like the fact that there were so many hyena around this morning. And that's definitely something we've been seeing well, through pretty much the entire day and through last night. I've seen more hyenas than I've seen lions, which is fantastic. But whew, after much driving around searching for cats that we it can show you, we finally found some. We actually were driving past a whole lot of cars. Couldn't work out why everyone was rushing about. Anyway, there were some rhinos that were very far away. And we stopped and I was looking with my binoculars. Craig then decided he was going to check with a camera. And he checked on one of the hills, which is a favorite spot of the sausage tree. Lionesses and, well, perfect timing. We would checked that hill three or four times on our way towards it. And one final look back, Craig managed to spot these girls coming out from behind the trees. So wonderful. Now they've come down. They've sat up on a termite mound. And there's some buffalo. I'm going to show you the buffalo just down here to the left. They're watching them. But we all know what the buffalo like to do to lions here. Yeah? And at one point I got quite excited because I just saw one buffalo moving around. And I thought, well, that will be an easy target. One on its own. I'm sure they'll go for it. And then, well... There's just a whole lot of buffalo now. There's also plenty of zebra behind us. We can't show you them, unfortunately. So I'm not sure what these girls are going to do. They can't see the zebra from where they're sitting, but they're definitely staring across at the at the herd. Maybe they'll try to go for a young one. Maybe they'll try to go for a buffalo that's perhaps hanging at the back of the herd. I'm not so sure. But I'm also wondering where those pesky cubs are. We know that they don't like to stay in uh, in the same spot. They also keep looking back towards the hill. So I imagine that's where they have stashed their little ones, and maybe they will listen today because those young cubs are not very good listeners at all. We've seen this now on countless occasions where they're constantly ruining the hunts for the lionesses. And, of course, that maternal instinct is so strong, and even the lionesses end up giving up attempting to go after something to make sure that those cubs are safe. But I like these lionesses. I'm, I'm enjoy see, enjoying seeing them every day. And I hope that they will be the lions that show me my first hunt from start to finish. Seeing as I've been spending so much time with them. I can't really see if they've had anything to eat. So I'm not sure if they caught anything after... Was it yesterday morning? No, the morning before that, I think. I can't remember when I saw them last. But um, yeah, yes, two mornings ago. It would be very nice if they do. You can see them. They look like they're intent on going after something. Maybe not now. Maybe a little bit later. Now, Michelle, you're wondering if the lionesses would ever go into estrus at the same time. Possibly. I think it depends on their ages, though, as well. And the, the lioness on the right is clearly much older than the lioness on, on the left. I think the... She's quite an old girl. She's been around for quite some time. It's difficult to sort of guess an age, but I'd put her anywhere between about, let's say, about 7 and 10 years old, somewhere around there. I think she's an, an old girl. I don't think she's particularly young. And then the other lioness, she, to me, looks much younger. Maybe she's about 4 or 5 years old, somewhere around there. Maybe even, a, yeah, I would say about that, that sort of age. So maybe not right now. The cubs are... The youngest lioness, which is the one on the left, her cubs are less than six months old. And then the other lioness's cubs are just a bit older than six months. So probably between about six and ten months old, somewhere around there. So maybe once these cubs grow up, they'll come into estrus within a, a, similar, a similar time again. But it's, it's really hard to say, of course.